Some people with Windows computer may face port conflicts when running Apache and MySQL. It's because the port is occupied by some other programs in your computer. Let's start Apache and see in which ports it is running. So you can see Apache is running at port 80 and ports 443. And if you start MySQL, so you can see it's running at port 3306. So if your any other program is already running before starting these two programs, Apache and MySQL, you will face port conflicts. So because Apache is running by default on port 80. So if you face port conflicts, the solution is you have to change your ports. So you have to change your ports 80 to some other port or 443 to some other port. If you face the same problem with MySQL module, so you can also change this port to some other port. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how we can do that. So if you go to the net stat and click on here, so you can see it is showing us which program is running on which port. You can see Apache, this is the Apache one. So this is running on port 80. Also, this is running on port 443. And there are some other programs. So this is the MySQL one. You can see MySQL is running on port 3306. So if we want to change the port, suppose if I get the port conflict with some other program, so I may like to change the port for this two program. To change port, you have to click on configure then you have to go to Apache this one httpd.com click on here so after opening this file you will search for port 80 okay control plus F then search for 80 so you can see we got port 80 here so let's change it to 82 also you need to change this one into 82 so after that you have to keep on searching okay this is the final one I think change it to 82 and then again source okay so there is no more okay so we got it three times so server name localhost we changed it to 82 as you can see then here where is it here we also changed it to listen 82 and this one also 82 so after that click on save all okay so just click on save i think save okay, it's done so after that you want to click on config again and then you will go to the second file httpdssl.conf you can see this one is running ssl is running on port 443 so if you have conflicts on port 443 you may not have conflict on ssl so suppose if you have conflicts so you can change it to any other port okay so any other available port so you have to just search for control f and then search for 44 so click on find next so you can see listen 443 change it to maybe 444 then keep on searching so you get another one here so here virtual host default so change it to 444 and also this one you can also change i think it is comment no need but okay, let's change it and click on find next okay we have changed everything so actually virtual host default underscore report 443 this this one is important and listen 444 okay we have changed this to one now click on save okay so we are done here so after that we have to go to this config file so click on here and then we have to go to service and port setting and here you can see apache apache main port 80 so make it 82 and then you have to change also ssl port because we have changed that so change it to 444 and MySQL. So we have not changed the MySQL one, so we can keep it right now. So click on save. Okay, it's okay, no problem. So it's already saved. So if you, if you want to check, you can see 82 and 444. It's already saved. So we have changed the port, both ports for Apache. So if you want to change the port for MySQL, so you can do the same thing actually. So you have to change this uh, 3306 to some other ports, maybe 3310. Okay, so you just have to go to the config file. So my.ini, so you have to click on here. And then you have to press Control F and then you have to search for 3306. Okay, and you have to find it. So here you can change it to 3310 if you want. Here also you can change it to 3310. I don't want to change it right now. This one also, 3310. I think it is comment, it's not necessary to change. 
and is there any more uh, okay these are comments actually so but if, if you want you can change okay so after that you have to change this one yeah so you have to change this one okay this one is not comment you can see there is no hash sign here and you also have to change this one mandatory okay so you can change it like this way okay i have not changed it but you can definitely change it after that uh, in the same process you have to go to config and then you have to go to service port and setting then you have to go to mysql and you can change it to 3310 if you change those ports okay okay after changing the port so you have to stop it and you have to stop it and we have to restart it again so start apache so as you can see now apache is running on port 82 and 444 and if you start mysql we have not changed it so it's still running on 3306 so after that if you go to your browser and if you search for localhost and just search for dashboard you can see this site can't be reached why because you know browser basically connects to the sham program by default by port 80 okay so as we have changed the port so browser cannot be connected with our sham program so what do we need to do we need to actually change this local host to local host colon 82 then enter okay as you can see now the sham is accessed from the browser sham apache plus media db psp plus parl you can see so you have to change it here so colon 82 so now if you want to access uh, psp my admin so just click on here so you can see PSP my admin also access to port 82 so you have to be careful so if you change your port to other ports any other ports it, it may be not 82 it may be 8080 okay so if you change your port to any other port so you have to write localhost column that port and then you have to write dashboard or my PSP my admin okay so that you have to be careful otherwise you cannot access it uh, so you can also access uh, the same thing from sham control panel admin so if you go to the sham control panel and just click on admin for apache so you can access the localhost dashboard you can see it's loading on 82 port and if you want to access the PASP my admin interface just click on here my sql admin so you can see it is also loading on port 82 so this is how you can remove the port conflicts if you have port conflicts of sham program with any other uh, programs maybe it can be any other programs it can be zoom it can be skype or any other programs so if you get this kind of error so you just have to change the port